guys, what is up? I'm actually quite happy because I got a puppy that's about to sneak in. He's doing this whole little ninja ninja crawl thing. Get your butt here. Come on. If you're coming, come here. Come on. Come on. Oh, now you don't want to be on the in the video. You're gonna make me have to delete this. I'm pointing at the wall, you dipshit. Come here. Come here. Come here. Say hi to the friends. Hi guys, here he is. This is Churchill. Yes, he's a pit bull. He's a Hawaiian red nose. <laughs> and I absolutely love him. He's my baby. <laughs> he's officially a year old in about a week. Two weeks. So, two weeks. He's officially a year old. <laughs> Come here, you big brute. I love you. Oh, I love you too. Love you too. Love you too, buddy. Love you too. Anyway, guys, go on. I wanted to do this quick office video update, hence the thumbnail you can see behind you, plus the uh, water calling uh, update for the new rig I'm building. Now, I was going to live stream this, and I'll talk about this. Now wait, I've got to figure this out for a second. Is it in the future or the past? If it's the future, going to be the future now in the video, but the video goes up after the stream. Is that the future or the past? I need a TARDIS or a, or a DeLorean to figure this out, but either way. Uh, <laughs> see, thanks. Love you too, Miss Cobra. That's the wife, by the way, guys. And so, I'm actually in a good freaking mood, and it's not for the reasons that most people think. I got, I got it. I had sex last night, but I haven't had sex this morning. And as I'm recording this video, it is 3:19 p.m. I'm due to go live in about 35-ish minutes on Twitch. It's Twitch.tv/deceptivecobras. Links will be in the video description. But um, no, I, I. I wanted to show you guys uh, 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 a few things, okay? Most case in point, I want you to meet my very first computer case that I had when I moved here to the States. This was an old gateway, crappy, this was the best they had to offer in like 2000 and Two, 2003 yeah so you know so you're getting a rough idea of how big this actual case is good I'm actually scavenging it for parts like the feet and a few other things my current case is so large I cannot lift it up you're probably thinking of course you can Cobra no I can't in fact I'm gonna move the camera okay so you're going to get to see more of my office that normally most people don't get to see. Like the models and stuff. But anyway. The... Uh, crap on. That is the beginning of... The case. This is the case. Here's a size comparison for you. Are you starting to get the picture of how actual big this thing is? Uh, here's a regular CD-ROM drive. Is it starting to sink in? Uh, here's a regular can of pop. Is it starting to sink in now as to why I can't lift that beast? Now, you guys are probably thinking, and yes, that is NCIS. I had it DVR'd from last night. You guys are probably thinking that I am absolutely fucking insane. And you know what? <laughs> You're right. I am. I am 100% insane. And my dog is trying to come in again because I'm talking, which means obviously I'm talking to him, which obviously means I want something, which obviously means I'm about to jump into dad's lap. So he's staring at my Joker poster. 
You wanna, you, no. No, I'm, I'm doing a video. Last time. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't do the two-step. Daddy doesn't do the two-step. Come on. I don't do the two-step. This is why I just... <laughs> Fucking love you! Pain in my arms! <laughs> Alright, I love ya. Ah. Now, down you get. Skidoo doo. Go! Here I am. Sorry about that, guys. I had to let the dog, uh, uh, out my office and now. Had to let him out? You mean you had to chase him out? Let chase matter of perspective. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm incredibly happy. Uh, I really am. I've been walking on cloud nine since my wife got some incredibly good news a couple of weeks ago, and I'm totally, totally stoked for her. I really am. But uh, yes, this is going to be the big build. This is going to be my computer. Now, however, I haven't got a name for it. Um, I was gonna use the typical names, you know how Jay's Two Cents has things like Skunk Works, uh, uh, Paul's Hardware has Arctic Panther, and, and stuff like that. I don't actually have a build name for this yet. Um, I've referred to it as Franken PC. I've referred to it as Skynet. I've referred to it by so many bloody different names and it all means the same thing. The color combination I'm gonna go with is I'm gonna be that gray metal, that's just the primer metal. I'm gonna sand the clear coat off of that, which is gonna be an absolute bloody pain in the butt. So I've got my Black & Decker sander there and I'm actually gonna sand down the parts today and hit it with a uh, um, adhesion promoter and uh, then I'm gonna tear down the case once I finish the mock-up so and I'm using Pringles cans right now these crappy Lay's stacks cans um, in lieu of uh, reservoirs for the water cooling and whatnot and I've got an old junky uh, I think that's an AM the single core? No, dual core. Motherboard, DDR2, junky motherboard in there. Again, it's just for mock-up, guys. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be using that motherboard uh, uh, tray or just gonna scratch build my own. I don't know yet. Um, but like I said, I mean, I've got an old ID hard drive here where that's got no uh, planum in it, no metal disc things, I took it out because um, I was going to turn it into a like a wind chime thing for a, my boss's little dirt girl who just had a little baby, so congratulations to them. Uh, not together, of course, not with her boyfriend, not with the dad. It'd just be weird. Uh, we're, we're, we're redneck, we're not that redneck, okay? We're, we're, we're not Louisiana redneck. Um, so that's one of the problems uh, I'm, I'm facing right now. Another issue I am facing currently right now is the front panel is gonna have to be completely custom scratch built. Hence, that's why I've already gone ahead and lost all of my, anyway, oh God dang it. And uh, gone ahead and got some reset switches, some uh, um, power switches, and a hard drive LED, power LED stuff. Um, I'm also gonna be getting some string and um, measuring it out, how long I need to have the wires crimped, cut and repinned. Uh, I, I'm going to be buying a sleeving kit and a whole bunch of other things and whatnot. I'm going to be having the case painted first, then I'm going to start, uh, of course, after the mock-up. Then I'm going to have the, uh, once the case is painted, I'm going to have the plexiglass cut, because this whole case is going to be made out, majority made of plexi. You're going to see the front, the sides and the rear uh, of the case is going to be lit open 
I've already gone ahead and scored me some strip LEDs. However, this is the wrong color. These LEDs are white. I was gonna go with a copper gold color. Uh, what I mean by that is um, this is uh, some copper pipe I've got lying around. I was, gonna, I was looking at colors and this looks like a really dark chocolate, like a, a um, like copper basically, it's copper. And I've got butters for fingers. And so basically this is the color I'm gonna go with on the case. I've already looked at ordering some orange LEDs to replace some of the uh, red clear fans that I have, but I actually found a really sweet deal on eBay with some fractal design fans uh, that are clear. They're um, the RR2s, I believe they're called. I think they're the, the fractal RR2s. Anyway, I uh, found a, a, a guy on eBay who's got like a hundred of them for like three bucks each. So I was like, ooh, that's a steal. And so and they're 120 fans, uh, static pressure, SP fans. So that, that's good for water cooling, which is what I've got planned. Um, I'm going to be contacting a few eBay sellers and getting their okay to use their logos. They're not sponsoring the chat, the, the build. They're not sponsoring my channel. They're doing nothing. I just want to try and drum up a little bit of extra business for them. Uh, also, I do, uh, I, I am in the initial stages of working out a sponsorship deal with Alua. And I really can't talk more about it other than you're going to see some product review videos coming up on the channel that are Allure products. Um, you will see a great big disclaimer before the video even starts saying, you know, disclaimer, this video is sponsored. It's going to have sponsored in the title. It's going to have everything. I'm, I'm not going to, di uh, I'm disclosing everything now so that you guys know I'm being legitimate up front. Um, so... I'm not holding anything back. I'm not hiding anything from you guys. I am being as honest as I can up front. Um, I've also been told that now this is a bit of an upside to it. Aloha has agreed that once the products are sent to me, I can keep them. So I, it looks like I'll be able to give some product away for, for you guys here on YouTube as well as on Twitch. So once I break certain followers, certain subscribers, I'll be able to do giveaways and whatnot. And and I'm actually in the works of them trying to get a discount coupon for you guys on their Amazon store. Now, they are also stocked in Newegg and they are stocked by Best Buy and a whole bunch of other places. However, they're also an OEM manufa manufacturer for other keyboards. Uh, I can't go into too much specifics because, you know, long story short, believe it or not, if you actually have a, a well-known named brand keyboard that has a snake for a logo, that's all I'm going to say, you most likely have an Alua product and don't realize it. Mm. And um, so that's all I need to say on that. But um, they are a, a, a OEM manufacturer and they're coming out in their own market. They're sick and tired of playing second fiddle and getting no awards and no respect and no love and no nothing. So they're breaking out in the market. Mo they are based in China. So I know you're probably thinking, boo, communist China, rah, rah, rah. But at the end of the day, they are a private company. They are not owned by the public. Therefore, they are not communists. So, and no, they don't own me. I still have my freedom of speech. I still have my politically incorrect podcast. And if I have to speak out against China, I will. Now, I don't want to make this video like a 20 minute long rant video, but plain and simple, I'm sick and tired of my favorite YouTubers only making videos that are like five to eight to 10 minutes long. Fuck you guys, you lazy bastards. Make videos longer. Get it off your fucking chest. Do what makes you happy, okay? And plain and simple, lately, I've been wanting to think more positive than I have for a long while. And so I've decided to just say, fuck it, think positive. You know, and it, a lot of positive things have come my way. A lot of positive things have come my wife's way. A lot of positive things have come the Cobra Nation's way. Sponsors are showing up. I'm getting more viewers per, per episode. Yesterday's impromptu stream reached a peak of 49 viewers instantly. So obviously I'm doing something right, and I noticed this because I'm thinking fucking positive. Okay, think positive. Okay. Well, when you started raging, they started leaving. I, it's not like I can exactly just leave the rage at the door. Although that would be a really cool name for like a nightclub. <laughs> rage at the door. Copyright. <laughs> anyway, but 
this message to all is up to, to all you smaller channels out there, okay? Who, 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 or, or to those who haven't made content for YouTube or Twitch yet and, and, and want to, but are too shy or afraid or embarrassed or whatever. I have one message to say to you. And I'll probably edit it in like here on my shoulder. There'll be a picture of Shia LaBeouf, you know, just do it sort of thing. But ultimately, when I first started my, my original YouTube channel, Malavictus, which isn't this channel, it's an actual my modeling channel, and I still have that channel. I still put videos on that channel. But they're, they're video, they're, they're model related, they're hobby related, they're not PC or gaming related. My first video I recorded with, I think it was like an eight megapixel camera that I got at a local pawn shop. I think I paid like eight bucks for it. It would chew through AA batteries it, it, it literally it would be like two sets of double a batteries for one video that's how horrible it was then i started getting into other cameras other you know and things like now I'm, i've got i'm using uh, a samsung no is it samsung or a sony it's this thing that i'm using it's a samsung sorry it's a samsung i'm using a samsung camcorder now for my my videos and you know and when I take my pictures, I'm using a camera that I've always wanted, which this is the Kodak EasyShare DX6490. This is only a 12 megapixel, I believe. No interchangeable lenses, it's not like a DX5 or anything, it's, it's none of that. But you know what? I've always wanted this camera. I know there are better cameras out there since this camera was made, but I have always wanted this camera. And I got it. I paid 25 bucks for it on eBay. So, you know, chase your bloody dreams. I mean, if I hadn't chased my dream, I wouldn't be here in the States. All my life, growing up since I was eight, nine years old, all I ever wanted to do was live in the States. I grew up watching American TV shows, reading American comics, watching American movies. The moment someone said, oh, so-and-so's from America, I would hunt them down like a T-1000 in my secondary school just to say hi and find out where they're from. Minnesota, freaking Baltimore, Maryland, or, or freaking Florida, or, or New York, or Maine, or, or Rhode Island, or Christ knows where else they were from. I purposely used to try and get jobs in central London where I know there was a lot of heavy tourist traffic where a lot of Americans would come in and they'd say, hey, do you know where Oxford Circus is? Yeah, you're standing in it, you pillock. You know, and stuff like that. It used to piss me off after they keep asking me the same fucking question eight times in like five minutes. But you know what? It didn't matter. I was chasing my fucking dreams. And now I live in the States. I'm here. Chase your fucking dreams. Stop letting excuses, minor, petty, fucking piss excuses, stopping you from putting a smile on your face. It's that simple. Chase your fucking dreams, because no one else is going to chase them for you. Chase your fucking dreams. Be happy. Take care of yourself first. I'm married. I have a wonderful stepdaughter who loves me, who calls me dad. That's all I need. I don't have to be a biological father. I mean, yeah, it would tell if she needed bone marrow or blood or a kidney or something. But you know what? She loves me. I love her. I love my wife. I take care of myself first, and then I take care of her. I take care of my daughter. I take care of my everything that's within my grasp to do. But I don't do it alone. If you have someone special in your life, if you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a husband or a wife or a boy or a best friend, anyone, it doesn't bloody matter. Don't struggle alone. Chase your fucking dreams. Don't do it alone. And the last tip I can ever give you, take it on the chin. You're going to meet people who hate you. You're going to meet people who don't like you. You're going to meet people who are just... Listen to what they have to say. Oh, the audio in this part was really crappy. You can't control that. Even if you went back in time while you were recording and say, Stop! The audio's going to be crap! 
you can't do that. There are some things that are outside of your control and there are some things that are so within your control. You're like the fucking Neo from the Matrix. Whoa. You know, it's well within your fucking control. But most importantly, okay, do the best you can with what you've got. And don't stop. For God's sake, don't stop. Do what the doctor does. Just keep running. Do what Dory does. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Don't fucking stop. Think positive. Okay? Know that you can do it. Don't think you can. Don't just go, well, I think I can. No. Know you can. Own it. Do you understand? Think it. Know it. Own it. Three simple words. Think it. Know it. Own it. Okay? Confidence is key. Women find confidence very attractive. Men find confidence very attractive. There's a reason why in all of your favorite movies, there's that one part in the movie where the, the wayward hero who nothing seems to be going right for him steps up to the plate and all of a sudden out of nowhere, he's John Wayne, he's Bruce Lee, he's fucking Mr. Mr. Badass that make, they can rip the nipples off Incredible Hulk. Do you understand? And why? Confidence. He thought it. He knew it. He owned it. Do you understand? That's what you've got to do. This video is more motivation for myself as well as it is for you. Especially to all you people out there that are watching my videos for the first time. And you're thinking, this guy's full of shit. Yeah, you may think I'm full of shit, but I'm right. And that's the scary fucking point. You know I'm right. I know I'm right. Think positive. Do positive. Be positive. And positive shit comes your way. Do you understand, guys? I mean, look at me. I've actually lost weight. My goal before my birthday, which is March 17th, FYI, before my birthday, I plan on losing another eight pounds, which I can easily do by getting my fat ass back to the gym on a Tuesday and a Thursday, which is what I'm doing right now. And cardio, 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 cardio. Build up your cardio. Not muscle. Because cardio is needed for muscle. You can be as buff as the Incredible Hulk, Lou Ferrango, whoever. But the moment you try to bend down the tie your shoelaces and you're breathing so heavily, you sound like Darth Vader with asthma. You haven't worked on your cardio, man. You bulked up. But you haven't worked on your cardio. Most people think I sit in this chair and play video games and don't take care of, don't don't take care of myself. You're absolutely fucking wrong. I have free weights, I go jogging. I go to the gym Tuesdays and Thursdays with my buddy Leslie. Take care of yourself. Yourself first. Think positive and everything goes with it. Anyway, I've prattled on for like 20 something minutes. It's more than enough. I've got to get ready to live stream. Till then, guys. Peace and love, love and respect. Take care. Keep your shows flying, keep your energies dying. Your cover commander is out, and I'll see you in the next one, you sons of bitches.